welcome back to my October vlog. Um, Bobo, did the camera just move? As I was saying, welcome back to my October vlog. Um, and we've got a cameraman here behind the camera. Leave it alone. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, this cat. Stop it, you can't see what he's doing. I've been painting garden gnomes. So I'll just explain. Last time I went to my mum's, she was saying how sad her gnomes looked. Um, and I kidnapped them when my mum was in bed and I brought them home. And I will enclose a little clip. Okay, so I'm just going to show you them in their setting. Oh, why do you always have to stand? in front of the camera and get in there. You're just like me, aren't you? Got this one. And where's the other? Oh, that's my pixie, isn't he gorgeous? So, bye-bye. You're off to Broadstairs. Um, and later on today, Freddie and JJ are going to Broadstairs to stay for a couple of nights. So I'm going to give her the garden gnomes and tell her um, in the night, once my mum's gone to bed, to put the garden gnomes outside the French door. So in the morning when my mum comes down, she'll have these three little gnomes peering through the glass. So I've been painting garden gnomes. I have, oh my God, I say I've done nothing. I actually saved somebody's life this week. Um, I was walking home from work which I never do I always drive just got to the road to go to the tube and I thought oh don't be so lazy just walk so what if I get wet thank goodness I did because had I driven or had I um, taken the tube I would not have seen this poor man who was slumped forward in a doorway so he'd sort of got his it was over I couldn't I couldn't really see him I just saw this body um, and I thought perhaps he was drunk and he'd passed out. So I kind of walked on and then thought, oh no, I can't leave him. So I went back and I was shaking him, not shaking him, but touching him and poking him. Are you okay? Are you okay? He clearly was not okay. Um, and to cut a long story short, I phoned for an ambulance and waited with him till the ambulance came. And by then, two ladies had come out of an office building and we were trying to manoeuvre him because the ambulance, the lady on the phone, was asking me all sorts of questions that I couldn't answer. I didn't know if he was breathing. I didn't know, you know, if he was sweating or what colour he was. And I couldn't hear because it was on a main road. Um, and then one of the ladies noticed that his face was sort of um, sagging. So we think he may have had a stroke. And obviously the quicker the ambulance gets to someone who's had a stroke, the better, and they did, they got here really quickly. So I stayed with him and I held his hand and I told him everything was gonna be all right. And he had two little tears just when the ambulance arrived. I hope he is fine, but I don't know. I don't know if he is, but I'm sure he will be. So that was, um, that was something that I did this week. I also went shopping with Freddie on Wednesday. I also joined Costco with Freddie on Thursday, which was very exciting. I bought the most gorgeous flowers, which I will show you in a minute. This month, I don't think I've got anything nice planned, so this might be a pretty boring October vlog. I must recommend these books because honestly they're just the best. Oh, they're just so good. It's the Thursday Murder Club and it's about um, a bunch of old people that live in a retirement village and honestly I just I want to move there. I want to go and live in a retirement village because it just sounds so fun. So that is my book recommendation. I'm going to start doing that every month actually. So, 
that's it because I haven't been doing anything. I will just show you my flowers that I got from Costco. Look at these gorgeous flowers. They were only 15 pounds. And let me just show you this. I told you I went shopping with Freddie. This is what I bought. And, um, and obviously it was for Halloween, but I think, I think it looks, I think I'll probably keep this here all year round actually. Ah, oh, that is something that I will be doing this month. I'm going to see a friend in Legally Blonde next week and the week after another friend in Singing in the Rain. It's spider time, isn't it? That's something I've got to do. I need to go to the park today and collect conkers because apparently it's supposed to deter spiders. Um, now, I have got conkers in every corner and crevice, but... I think fresh ones. I think I need to go and get some fresh ones. Also, if anybody has any ideas for videos that you'd like me to do, please let me know and I'll do them. Someone asked for another try on, but I was thinking I don't really have anything else to try on. But then again, I probably do. Maybe I could do a jeans try on. I've got so many different styles of, of Jean, so maybe I should do that. Let me know what you think anyway. Sorry, I'm rambling. He's having his body washed. Oh, what a nice clean bottom he's got. That's an invasion of Spain. Good boy's not even sat on his towel, is he? Look how little he is without his fur. Oh, what a good baby. Oh, he's a good baby Precious boy. One. He's not boy. bothered, is he? I told you he doesn't care. Oh, let's just... oh what a good boy. My precious little... Oh, look at his face. Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, he's such a good boy. So, I'm out with Freddy today. I've decided I am the world's worst vlogger because... When I'm actually doing something good, I never ever remember to get my camera out. I know. I'm too busy enjoying the moment. That, and don't, that's a good thing. So. That's what? That's a good thing. I'm showing you my outfits of the day and I'm really not sure I like this. I, the necklaces are way too much. Well, the necklaces are the only bit I like. <laughs> They're too low. I didn't put a bra on actually today. So. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're out. We've come to Home Sense, our favourite, and we're really disappointed. There's nothing here. Mm. All it's done is make me think I don't like my bedroom. Anymore. That is so random. Why? Because there's nothing here that's inspired you to think that. I like that rug. That rug was hideous. I'm like, show disgusting. You this no, that I it's was so ugly. I'm going to show you. Follow me. Right, come on, follow me. Oh, I'm not supposed to go back here. Ew. Put it on the floor. That's vile. This is what I want my new bed. No, you, if you, no, no, that, that is appalling. I love it. This is inspired. What on earth? That is so, like, colours that you hate. What, that horrible, dull, like, tealy blue? Yes, it's my favourite. No, it's not, you it big is. fat liar. It's my favourite Is it colour. really your favourite colour? So why is there not a single thing in that colour in your wardrobe or your house? Because I didn't realise until this second that it's my favourite colour. But yesterday, um, I, I think I did vlog that I went shopping to Home Sense with Freddie and I bought a few bits and I did wonder about doing a Home Sense haul but I didn't get enough stuff. And the reason I didn't film yesterday, we were rushing because uh, Freddie and I went to see Legally Blonde last night. That's such a great musical, I've seen it loads but I think it's the one musical that the more I see it, the more I enjoy it. So now I'm just, I've just washed my hair and I've sprayed this um, L'Oreal stuff on and I really think it's made it look thicker. Um, it would have only been cheap. Maybe I'll show you. Oh, yeah. So I've just used this L'Oreal 
Elvive uh, Moisture Plus. Oh, it looks so interesting. It's Mummy, your hair does look nice. Oh, thank you, Bobo. Um, so it's this Moisture Plump Serum. And it says to use it every day, just like a hair moisturiser. And I do think that it's made my hair look a bit fuller. Anyway, um, that's that. So, yes, I'm just going to go off now and do a few jobs. I must just say, I just think cats are the funniest things they've all got they've got such personalities and um romeo was always obsessed with nail files and foot files he just loved a file he used to go mad and he loves look he's brought it downstairs this is quite disgusting actually but he loves the hair from um the sink the shower. Um, I first noticed this when there was a big lump of dirty, the drains were blocked outside and I scooped this um, hair out and sort of threw it up to the side and oh he kept going for it and bringing it in the house, it was disgusting. Um, so I threw it away and then I've noticed since whenever I'm cleaning and I get a lump of hair and put it in the bin he gets it out and he just he just loves it so look he's waiting now for me to put the tap on for him to have a drink okay I shall sorry I'm rambling again so look at him with this thing oh you're such a dirty boy with that so I've just been out to take my empty things back to the body shop and to get a few bits and pieces and I thought oh I'll go and see Barbie. I was walking past the cinema and the film was on at exactly the right time so I, I just bought a ticket and went on my own um, and I'm astounded at how bad it, I thought it was. I don't think I've heard anybody say that it was a, a an up just, I can't believe how I hated it. I thought it was on a par with the Meg 2. So, um, how controversial. Hi, it's a freezing cold Sunday morning. It's a beautiful day, but freezing cold. And I'm just going to um, do three window boxes for the front of the house. So I've just got my silver leaf, two cyclamens, and I'm just going to put these little red pansies at the front. I've just got a great big, this big, eagle for the top of the house because there's so many pigeons, and I love pigeons because Coco thinks that a pigeon is her spirit animal whatever that is, um, but they're becoming a real nuisance, there's pigeon poop over everything. So we bought this great big eagle which worked for a few days and now they're just sitting next to it. It's so cold, oops I fell off my cushion, oh now I've got a wet bottom, and oh, those pigeons are just sat there looking. Look, Phobo, look who's up there. Ta-da. I don't usually like these, but I thought the colours went so nicely together with these ornamental cabbages. Number two. Number two. Last one, I'm going really quick because I'm so cold. I should have just come out this afternoon but I've got a busy day today. Excuse me. Mr Bobo, you're looking at that handsome boy. Oh, I've just got the fluffiest tail in the land. 
Haven't you? I don't like this one. Right, I'm going to just get indoors now. Morning, and Freddie and I have just come out to St John's Wood. Why have we come to St John's Wood? To get the pumpkin pie. All right, to get pumpkin pie from the Hummingbird Bakery. Look at this house. Isn't that awful? I'm a Look how gothic the window boxes are, though. Like, they're obviously always like that, but it really goes with the Halloween theme. I know, it looks great. I'm going to do all that. <laughs> Welcome to St John's Wood Church Grounds. This is so pretty. Um, so this is what I love most about living in London. Like how long have I lived here? 30 years at least. And there are still places that I never knew existed. I've never been to St. Well I have been to St John's Wood before but not this part. And it's absolutely gorgeous. This is where I want to live now. <laughs> so look at the... Isn't this lovely? I don't think That's it's a campground. Oh, is it? Yes. I literally went to school around the corner from here. So that's Lord's that was, cricket ground in the background. That was, well, if we ever had a fire drill at school... Oh, I remember. That was our, like, what do you call it? Like your Evacuation, evacuation point. Evacuation point was Lord's cricket ground. Yes. I've been oh. there loads of times. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> we said we, before, I'm not joking, we went in our ballet tights. No. Yeah, because if we did, if we had a drill, it didn't matter what you were wearing. Like, we were in the middle of ballet ones and we had to walk to the <laughs> cricket ground in our leotard and ballet tights. Were and the like, cricketers there? Trainers, I can't remember, but we were just like mortified. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So nice. So nice. Glamorous lady there. <laughs> I just said, who's that glamorous lady there? Ooh. In black. Yeah. It's my my new personality <laughs> development. It's black the new pink. Yeah. Oh no, whoever said that is seriously disturbed. <laughs> I love this old tube station. Look. I know. It's really Look, they've still got these brass handles. These would have been wooden, these escalators, you know, Freddie. What are you laughing at? I love a tube station. I was in my element in St. Petersburg. Oh, yeah. All I wanted to do was um, stay on the tube when we were in St. Petersburg. Woo! The tube lady. <laughs> Would you like to say anything? Wow. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an autumn day today. Storm Babette. Really? Yeah. Babette? Babette. Oh, I quite like that. So Babette? Yeah, they haven't spelt it nice. I think Babette should be double B-E. Double, double T-E. T -E. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, we're here, we're at the Shard, we're coming for afternoon tea, which is very exciting. It's a very dull day, but wow. Thank you. And look at that, even the bread's pink. <laughs> That's your kind of bread, Fred, eh? Oh my gosh, yes. I never want normal bread ever. Cheers! Ooh. The lighting's a bit bad. Have you seen my videos? It's all about the lighting being bad. And I've come on a date with my husband because I haven't seen him for so long. Phil, when was it? Before, oh, there's his thumb. That's all you're going to get. Um, I don't think I've seen him properly since before I went to Canada. So we both had a free day and a free evening. So we've come out, we're in Covent Garden, we're in a cocktail bar with the only people in here. But it is a bit early, it is only 4.30. <laughs> but 
but it's a really cool place. It's called Tequila Mockingbird and there's games on the table. So we're going to have a cocktail and have a game of Connect Four. So I can't go too mad. I love cocktails, but we're going to the theatre. Just come to a, a, a new Indian restaurant called Harrow in Covent Garden. Um, it was really nice. It's, what did it say it was? Calcutta Street food. Mm -hmm. um, and it was different. Mine was really nice. Mine was really spicy. That's why I wanted red. Um, yours wasn't spicy enough, was it? Phil had gunpowder black. Mine was a vegetarian thing. Um, very nice. Um, we're a few cocktails down um, after being in the Tequila Mockingbird. And we have even started our main event of the night, which is the theatre. Oh, look at this. Isn't this cool? <laughs> there was an elephant one a few years ago, wasn't there? You walked around London and there were just elephants, you had to find them all. They've obviously done the same with these gorillas and they've all ended up here. We are now, oopsie, we are now on our way to the theatre. Look at this pub, it's just so London. Um, it looks like it's falling over. I'm so lucky that I live here. I never ever don't feel lucky that I live in London. Here we are, crazy for you. This is the fourth or fifth time I've seen it. And I'm beyond excited, but the reason I'm slightly worried, as you know, I stalk Charlie Stepp on Instagram most distressed yesterday to see him in a countryside location so I'm just praying that it was a day trip and that it's not on holiday. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on. Oh my god, thank god, thank god. Walking in here I was saying to Phil, it's fine. If he's not on, it's absolutely fine because I'll get to see the show because I never watch the show because I'm so obsessed with him. All I do is watch him, so I was saying to Phil, it's fine if he's not on, I'll just watch the show for once. But he is on. And my seat, right in the middle. Oh, the film, my hand shaking, my hand shaking with excitement. <laughs> so close, I'll be able to smell him. So I'm in Broadstairs again. Um, I've been here for two days. What did we do yesterday? Uh, went shopping in Westwood Cross. Yeah, we went shopping in Westwood Cross and went to see my niece. Um, that was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and today we're going to the cinema to see The Great Escaper. We're just going into Broad Broadstairs Town Centre now. It's very loud, isn't it? The sea. It's loud, yeah. But what gorgeous day. Yeah. Walls about this. The harbour. The harbour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so nice. It's windy up on this cliff top. <laughs> Just look at me. I look a wreck. It was so good. It was so emotional. Um, I won't tell you what happened. Well, you probably know it's a true story. Not much happened. It was just so the act oh my michael caney needs to win an oscar for that i highly highly recommend the great escaper i just feel drained now emotionally drained i need to go and have a gin okay so i'm at my mum's house and i am sorting out her wardrobes with her and i've never seen so many clothes in my life and she assures me that she's already thrown how many bags four bin liner size bags out but you wouldn't believe it yeah. i can't possibly show you the the whole um thing because i'm going to be here hours i already have been but i'm just going to show you how many wardrobes of clothes she's got so we've got here so we've got the three here this isn't drawers this is just wardrobe space and these are her, 
you can't see how f this goes back round both corners. These are our long going out dresses. Right, okay, bear with me. I know it doesn't look a lot yet. Right, then in this other row, this is another wardrobe, full to bursting. So this is after the clean out. Got a wardrobe here with just bags and shoes that I'm not even looking in. <laughs> this is another, we're halfway through this one. So this is another wardrobe here, double wardrobe, triple wardrobe. She's even got sandals. So this is a mess, this is my room. So she's even got sandals under the sink, which I think is the oddest thing to put sandals under a sink. There's another double wardrobe here. Um, these are just uh, lightweight, very lightweight, very hot day tops. Yeah, Another triple wardrobe here that I don't have to go in. Yeah. I've been doing this. Because oh, you see your wedding dress and, you know, oh, okay. the kids' bridesmaids. All oh, right, dresses that's all right then. So it's just the so it's four rooms of yeah. clothes. Yeah. And they're all piled up on all the beds as well. Okay. <laughs> So that's my um, Monday afternoon. So it's the end of October now. So today I've just been putting up a few Halloween decorations. Um, I haven't gone all out because I don't think we're having a Halloween party this year as it's on a Tuesday. Um, but I'll just show you what I've put up. Okay, so... In the lounge, I've just got this Halloween candle with this pretty pumpkin lid. So over here is just um, a ceramic pumpkin. I've got a witch's hat hanging off the fireplace. Um, I'm just trying to look around. Oh, um, I tend to just put my witch's hats over everyone that's got a head. Over here I have, actually he's not, he's not for Halloween, <laughs> he's just, uh, he's always there but he's quite scary. And then over here we have the magic broomstick. Hello! Oh, it must need a new battery. Usually when this broomstick, bang, here's a loud knock. Oh, it's not doing it. Oh, how annoying. I obviously need new batteries in my broomstick because usually when you go anywhere near this it starts playing spooky music and walks around the floor. I'll have to change the batteries. Then into the hall we've got the spider's web and this crow bunting. And Oh, this is great. Hang on, let me just turn him round. This is my vampire bat. Let's see your, let's see your beautiful face. Hang on, I can't see. Here is the vampire bat hanging from the ceiling. I've just got various sort of spooky, spooky um, ghosts and skeletons hanging from everything. There's the Halloween bunting. Again, another witch's hat on top of the hair. A witch's hat on top of the hair. Can you see this? This is my hall table. Okay, this is the hall table um, with the new Halloween candle that I bought. This is just the little side table in the hall with the new Halloween candle. Um, Oh, also, look, I put various bugs 
and spiders on the mirrors because I'm never quite sure if they're real or not. What else? That's really scary. She's really scary as well. Um, more spiders. Ew! Horrid. On a nice, bright, sunny day like this, nothing looks that scary, but oh, look at these horrible spiders. And I've got them all in the cups and on the cake stand. That's me without my makeup on. <laughs> Just witches. That's, oh, look, this is the fruit bowl with nasties in it. Happy Halloween! So this is just like a little display on the kitchen work surface. I got a white pumpkin this year, just for a change. We haven't carved that yet. These are the uh, the pottery ones. There's our menu on the wall. Tonight's specials, maggot stew. What's new? Witch in the plant pot. This is actually um, a headband. We've got a witch's egg timer up there. And more sort of scary ghouls in the corner there. I should have shown you tonight really because it's not very scary, is it, during the day? Here's Phil. I don't know if you can see him. He changes. Here's Phil. Don't know if you can see him. There's an evil crow. This evil crow's there the whole time, actually. It's quite disturbing just how many of my everyday decor things are quite Halloween-y. These nasty little men. What are they called? Oh, I don't know what they're called. Goblins, I suppose. They're there the whole time. Um, oh look, they're in the cage. Oh, and he's drunk. He's upside down. My goodness. There, lovebirds. They're not very Halloweeny, are they? Look, scary mask. So basically, it's not much different <laughs> to the rest of the year. Um, but it will look spooky tonight when all the lanterns and candles are lit. I might show you if I remember, but I probably won't remember. So, happy Halloween, and I will see you next time. Bye!